nut from the catalyzator. Right now we can just push it forward a little bit. As you can see it has also a gasket here and this is what I used to remove the last nut from the catalytic inverter. The last nut that is right there. When I started to remove the catalytic converter from the exhaust manifold, as you can see it has four studs and four nuts. When I started to remove four nuts I broke it, so on the rest three of them I used some WD-40 and I left them like for one hour and after I removed them they're easy, so don't repeat my mistakes if you want to save the nuts. Right now I'm gonna loosen this clamp, loosen the turbo from the exhaust manifold. I'm gonna disconnect one more hose that goes on the rear end of the cylinder head and after we'll start to remove the bolts that goes along the cylinder head. I'm gonna remove this bolt that is holding this bracket and also it's one more bolt down there. Bro. I just removed both bolts and as you can see in this mechanism this hose came right out it goes in that hole in the block and it has an o-ring I just removed it as you can see there is coolant that is going to the cylinder head so our cylinder head is free from the rear side it's free from the intake manifold side and it's almost free from the left side. Finally we can remove the cylinder head. I got I just received the key that I was looking for. Right now I'm gonna show you how it looks. It's a kind of star socket, star bit, but it's different because the edges are flat. It's 10 millimeter. So now we're gonna remove first these four bolts. After we'll start to remove these 10 bolts from the cylinder head and we'll start to remove from the edges and we'll go to the middle. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four small balls, and after ten big balls. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Be careful, don't remove the rocker arms. So now I'm gonna disconnect the turbo, turbo from the exhaust manifold and take the cylinder head out. Loosen the turbo clamp bolt, you will need a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna loosen it all the way, take it out, remove a clamp because I think if I remove, I'm gonna remove a nut all the way, I will be able to open it. Yeah, and take it out. Just don't lose a bolt. That's how it looks. But the turbo, it's still in the same place. It's not moving. Because it have a bracket under it probably. I'll try to loosen it now. As you can see, it's moving slowly up and down. Just wanna clean the coolant that was spilled in the cylinder. And after I'm gonna show you what our problem was. This is cylinder this is the piston number four and as you can see the piston it's in good shape. This is this is cylinder number one and it have even more carbon build up than the cylinder number four. This is our cylinder head and as you can see this is, so this is the cylinder number one, cylinder number two, number three, number four. And this is our problem. This is why the air was going through the exhaust while the cylinder number four was on top dead center at the compression stroke. As you can see, our valve is broken, it don't have a big piece. And the piston looks good, the cylinder also looks good. Probably you just blow it out through the exhaust. I hope the turbo is good, because if not, we'll need to replace it as well. Also, I forgot to mention, before you will remove a cylinder head, the last thing that you are supposed to do, you should loosen this bolt to release the chain guide. The guide is gonna go, the guide is gonna go inside, and after this, you will be able to remove the cylinder head and this is cylinder number one cylinder number two cylinder cylinder number three and cylinder number four as you can see one exhaust valve on the cylinder number four it's melted it don't have a big piece probably it was blown out through the exhaust because it doesn't have any piece of metal inside the piston looks good and the cylinder looks good so tomorrow I'm gonna check it one more time because it's night time already and I wasn't able to see very good. I was using a light but looks good. I hope everything's fine. So now we're going to remove the valves and we're going to buy 
new valves and replace them. 